Peace. We got to understand something when it comes to the digestive system and animal protein. You know, so when we overly consume animal protein, one thing that we are doing that a lot of people will not tell you about is that we are essentially weakening our digestive system when it comes to properly digesting plant-based foods, or I should say whole plant-based foods, your fruits and your vegetables, nuts, seeds, things like that. It takes a lot of energy. A lot of energy is required to break down meat. A lot of energy is required to break down animal protein. We got to understand that, man, we consume in the trauma. We consume in the cancer that a lot of these animals have when they are slaughtered. You know what I'm saying? We are consuming that negative energy, that fearful energy. We are consuming those hormones that they have been injected with. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot of energy that's going into properly digesting or at least striving to properly digest the animal protein. So the more of that we eat, the harder it will be for us to extract the nutrients that we need from the fruits and the vegetables. And they don't tell a lot of people this. This is why when you are striving to make the transition from a meat-based regimen to a plant-based vegetarian vegan regimen, it has to be gradual. It has to be gradual because your digestive system your digestive system has to adapt and it has to adjust and it has to build up the proper strength to be able to make that transition and it's not going to happen overnight. So that's why a lot of times when people strive to make that transition initially, they struggle. Their digestive system is not equipped. It's not equipped to properly digest these plants, these fruits, these whole, these whole foods. It was used to that process, processed animal nonsense, animal protein nonsense. That's what it was used to. So again, it takes time, man. We got to understand the science behind the digestive system and all the work that's required for it to strive to properly digest that animal protein. Again, the more animal protein you consume, the less nutrients you're going to be able to get from those fruits and vegetables. And we know that those fruits and vegetables contain way more vitamins and minerals than that meat. You know what I'm saying? So you make the choice. You make the choice. Consume those fruits, those veggies, man, those whole grains, those nuts, and those seeds, more so than you consuming that animal protein. Peace.